Hello everybody, uh, time in solution digest uh, number 26, uh, this is about today update, uh, May 1st 2024, uh, this update I will show you how to, um, how to download uh, price history, intraday price history from Yahoo, recently uh, the, uh, it's possible to do that, and also two users, Muhammad and uh, Vladislav, it seems to me, ask me about uh, how to um, display market profile in time and solution. Okay, let's start with um, uh, downloading from Yahoo, intraday from Yahoo. Uh, you see, uh, when I will download from Yahoo, I will choose Yahoo as data feed, and uh, now there are uh, additional bars here. Uh, uh, one hour bar, 60 minutes. Uh, they provide uh, one year for one hour bar, one year of price history, and other intraday bars, 30, 15, and uh, 5 minutes, uh, they provide uh, um, uh, one, uh, one month, one month only. Okay, let's download one month uh, bit, uh, price chart for Bitcoin, BTC, sorry, this is there, okay, click download, so we'll download once again, this is Yahoo, 5 minutes, and here index, that uh, Yahoo index, okay, and we will get this one, click OK, and now you see now important, you need to set exchange location. Uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, not Bitcoin, all data they provide in uh, GMT time, universal time, GMT time. Uh, so what uh, I recommend to do, suppose we want to display, to use uh, as a major uh, exchange here, a New York location. So I will do this, I will set here. New York exchange location and click this button, click this button to set time zone, GMT time zone, because GMT time zone, yeah, they used to, um, then they stream data from, um, from Yahoo. So, in other words, we have a New York exchange location, but time zones, this is uh, GMT. Okay. We'll get this chart, by the way, I see it's gap here, I don't know why. Okay, it looks like something wrong with uh, Yahoo, uh, you see today's gap here. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, so, uh, so now you see the, this is uh, G GMT time. If we want to display this time in the New York time, New York time, so uh, we need to switch uh, to set um, viewed uh, time zones. Zone. Click this button, globe, and here set uh, viewed um, uh, exchange location, New York. So it will be New York time. You see, it's New York time. Now it's New York time. Now time is uh, 3.30. And so you see the latest bar here, it's uh, 3.30 p.m., of course. Uh, so it's good, good, looks good. Uh, so next step, let's uh, build... Uh, build um, uh, market profile. And uh, now about uh, about um, uh, market profile. You see, there is uh, one uh, charting tool. It, it was available for a long time ago already. Look at this. Click here. Oh, you do not see. Just a sec. I will show you. Uh, click here, and you will see here charting tool market profile. Okay. Uh, look, uh, look at this, how it works. Actually, I, I like this charting tool. Uh, suppose I want to um, calculate a market profile for, um, for weekend, for weekend trading hours. And weekend, it will be a, a New York weekend because it's um, different time zones. It will uh, begin and end a different time from this date to this date. So I will just drag the mouse cursor and you see the program shows the market profile for this, uh, for this um, interval, for these two days, for uh, two weekend days. Uh, look at this. In options here, you can change, um, you can display uh, volume uh, as a uh, uh, market profile. Uh, this histogram is based on volume or based on close. The most typical price, it's somewhere about here, also there is here level. Uh, change uh, amount of bar, uh, bins, you see uh, get more detailed or less detailed uh, 
uh, histogram. Okay, you see it's more like it 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 works like smoothing. And uh, this is uh, size of this uh, histogram will increase it, decrease it, doesn't matter. Uh, so, uh, so this is a uh, market profile for New York, New York um, at, uh, weekend. Let's calculate market profile for some other. Let's for just a sec, I will change view it time zone. And let, let's it will be, okay, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. So you see uh, market profile is based on this piece price history from here to here. I just can drag this market profile for this to this and so it, it, it will change a little bit. Uh, one more feature, suppose I want to uh, calculate market profile based on last uh, three days. So I will drag the mouse cursor here to last date. Here it is, last date. And next step, let's do this. Uh, Actually, you see, maybe uh, not the last three days because uh, there is a gap here. Unless it will uh, last week. Uh, last week, it's... Uh, uh, you see what I recommend to do. I recommend to run uh, this charting tool. Charting tool uh, counter. Click this button, you see this. And uh, before that, I will recommend set snap mode on. Click here and you see this but button. Snap is pressed now. And now click this counter charting tool and drag uh, not counter another another percentage percentage this button percentage okay and now drag the mouse cursor from here from this anchor to latest one latest you see the program shows uh, the distance price change in percentage we do not need price change uh, and nothing and here we will display X uh, amount of years, amount hours, or we can display amount of days. Days, days, days are here. And so, and now we can move both these charting tools. You see, we move both these charting tool. The program catches both these charting tools, uh, market profile and counter, and we can, we can see uh, how many days. Okay, set to seven. Seven days, okay, seven, no, approximately seven, yeah, days, and uh, this is market profile based on last seven days. Uh, you can uh, uh, do more, for example, we want to calculate market profile based on one uh, synodic, uh, moon synodic cycle. So in this case, just a sec, just a sec, I think I maximize it. And now we will use uh, here, I will uh, percentage counter and percentage counter, I will, um, I will uh, modify percentage counter charting tool. And now I will set here just sec, will display time intervals in uh, sun, moon, sun path, moon, sun angle separation. Okay. And look at this, I drag these charting tools and uh, we will see we need to get uh, 330 degrees. Okay, somewhere here. Okay, somewhere here. So uh, this is interval, it's approximately uh, one uh, moon synodic cycle. Uh, synodic cycle. And th this is market profile based on uh, one synodic cycle, moon synodic cycle. So I hope it's clear now. And you can uh, display this market profile as many as you need. Don't forget, by, by the way, about uh, snap option. This is important. Thank you.